Everyone knows about optical illusions, but what about aural illusions? This sounds like it's endlessly ascending, but that's not possible, because if the pitch was actually just always ascending, it would pass out of the audible range pretty quickly. Instead, it's probably the most famous aural illusion called a shepherd tone. Instead of one tone, we're hearing a whole bunch of sine waves that are always ascending, but getting quieter as they get higher and fading in from below, so that the stuff in the mid-range that we hear best is in fact always moving up. Today I'm looking at a riff from Animals as Leaders that makes use of a different type of aural illusion, a rhythmic one. The riff's from the title track of their amazing album, Weightless. I'm talking about the first minute or so of the track. Basically, it sounds like the guitar pattern changes from this to this. And finally, to this. the only thing that changes is the drums. The guitar parts are practically identical, even though it feels like the tempo has changed. The main thing here is a super slick technique that I call a pulse-preserving tactus modulation. Basically, we can think of meter as a nested set of expectations that we pick up from what's happening in the music. At the fastest level is the pulse. This is the level that underpins everything. It's also called the subdivision level. At the next level up is the tactus. This is the beat, the rate at which you would headbang. Higher up is the level of meter, but I'm not going to worry about that for this video. Normally, in metal, the tactus level will be marked by cymbal hits. For example, in this section from the end of the track, we have a steady tactus at around 90 BPM with a beat every four pulses. preserving tactus modulation shifts the tactus without changing the rate of the pulse. It feels like the tempo is changing because what we feel as the beat is changing, but it's not quite a full-on tempo modulation because the underlying pulse doesn't change. In the first section of Weightless, this happens twice. First, there's a beat every five pulses. I'm slowing these down so it's a little easier to hear. Then a beat every three pulses. Finally, a beat every four pulses. This is a little different from what people normally call a tempo modulation or a metric modulation because instead of reinterpreting a certain layer uh, into some new context, we're keeping this thing as the pulse, we're just changing how many pulses are in a beat. Where the aural illusion comes in, though, is in the fact that the guitar pattern stays the same at the same tempo through these tactus changes. It sounds like it changes tempo or rhythm or something, but really the same five note ostinato stays locked into the unchanging pulse and phases against the tactus when that changes.
even trickier is the groovy chugging part that comes in with the three pulse tactus, which feels completely different when we switch it to the four pulse tactus, but is in fact exactly the same. It's even played at the same rate. You could almost just copy and paste the same guitar part recording between the two subsections with no edits and get the same thing. super slick. We feel like the tempo is completely changing because we're so used to hearing the cymbal as the keeper of tempo. And in a sense, the tempo is changing for us because how we move to it is probably changing. Interpreting in light of the song's title, it feels like gravity is shifting somehow. But despite these shifts of gravity, the underlying pulse and patterns don't actually change at all. Thanks for watching. Please trike, cement, and gum drive. See ya.